Live at four, let's look at the store and we've got Nakia offers right now. And I just wanted to go over her ISO eight. I believe that there's two uh, ISO eight choices that I'm going to consider. Mostly I'm interested in making her striker. One, Nakia has the highest damage in the game, but also I wanna take advantage of Okoye's assist mechanic. And so uh, doing a striker skirmisher striker combo makes a lot of sense. And I want to try Striker on Nakia first. Also, uh, she does have this on any attack crits gain one stealth on her basic attack. And so there is some mechanics there with stealth. So Raider might also be a logical choice for her. So some testing might have to be done. Initially, I want to try uh, Striker on her just to take advantage of Okoye's assist mechanic. As far as T4s, uh, if I if you're gonna use her inside of war, uh, her passive looks very strong, and then her her uh, her special looks like it's like very important on war offense. Generate one ability for all adjacent war dog allies. So again, another war T4. Her passive on her uh, her T4 on her ultimate is just damage, and then she gets an extra chain on her uh adjacent targets on her basic so uh she might be uh, a lot of t4s now let's do a quick uh word from our sponsor today big shout out to the amazon app store for sponsoring this video the amazon app store will allow you to save up to 20 percent off of all of your in-app purchases for marvel strike force by using amazon coins the Amazon App Store is available on all Android devices, Amazon Fire tablets, and now, this is brand new, Windows 11 devices inside of the United States. How does it work? Well, first thing you do is you buy your Amazon coins at a discount. So typically, I will go and buy 50,000 Amazon coins for $400. Now, 50,000 Amazon coins translates to $500 of in-app purchases inside of Marvel Strike Force that I only paid $400 for. This is an, a tremendous savings. You follow all the instructions here on the page. You click the link in the description and then you just follow the instructions and getting it set up. You download the Amazon App Store. You download Marvel Strike Force right from the Amazon App Stores and you're set up to go. It's as simple as that. Okay, also I wanted to, a lot of people are asking about how Naki is going to be unlocked. She is going to be an event campaign character, which is typically the most player friendly way of unlocking a character. Uh, one of the things that is interesting, and this is from the, the release notes for patch 6.5, it says, if you plan on battling through the heroic difficulty, you'll need a top squad, and they lined out Wakandans, and they put War Dogs. So that is something new. Uh, we're supposed to get more information. Hopefully tomorrow's blog post will uh, specify how this is exactly gonna play out. I also wanted to point out that, uh, Tana inside the data mine and it's here behind me big shout out to Tana they said that it is play easy to unlock so uh there's this maybe the idea is that she's going to be easy to unlock typically event campaign characters are uh the most player friendly but we will have to see uh as far as saving things uh one of the things is that tomorrow is coordinated assault and you want to be saving a uh, green uh, energy for the coordinated assault. Also, there is uh, an abundance of it in the strike pass. So you want to save this for that event too. Rather than collecting this, you can save this until uh, the event starts, which starts at event reset time, which is three hours before server reset uh, tomorrow. Uh, also inside of the, the web stores is the Contagion Core booster pack, which has the Plague Monger orbs. Uh, this is the second round of it. There's going to be a total of 5,000 fragments available. Uh, be sure to look out that for the next couple of days. Uh, Phantom X is still the worst character in the game. And uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more because uh, I, I don't want to hear about hand minions and mantis of the, or, or, of the world or any other pre-Silver Surfer, not adjusted for modern game legacy character. Phantom X came out after Darkhold. There's no worse modern character, so there's no purpose in the game. He's not the best option on his own team in their own game mode on either defense or offense. His abilities are trash. He scales is terrible. I like... Uh, I like many have a very large gear tier 16 level 90 for this trash tune sad too because he's a cool comic character Yeah, it's a little bit disappointing the other thing too 
is uh, he's he's a part of a horseman team. And so if you're wanting to unlock uh, a baby apocalypse, so there's going to be a baby of apocalypse, which is going to require gear tier 16 and blue ISO four. And then someday uh, we're going to get a big boy apocalypse, which is going to be like a seven yellow. And that is going to require gear tier 17 and blue ISO five. And so it, it just feels bad to take, you know, to be forced to upgrade characters like Phantom X and Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, and to a lesser extent, even She-Hulk. It's just the way the game is set up right now with Apocalypse Unlocked. Death to monthly events, and I like this post a lot. They aren't fun. They rarely offer any unique experiences, mechanic or, mechanics, or strategy. The goalposts are constantly shifting and require constant reward hoarding. And last but not least, Scopely keeps screwing up the execution. Let's take a break from this nonsense and go back to the drawing board and come back with something that doesn't feel cut paste and uh, Marvel Blitz Force. Absolutely. Uh, unique finishers are cool. And this is a, um, I just want, whenever I see a positive post on Reddit, it has a, a larger number of upvotes. I like to showcase it here. There's, cause it's not all bad on Reddit. A lot of, sometimes Reddit has a reputation of being extremely negative, which I, I agree most of the time it is negative. I don't think I'm the only one, but I love finding the unique finisher characters and we'll do on the final attack. I love watching Deathpool dance up and then pull out a shotgun. Thanos snap was so cool when it first came out. Now Dormammu hand pulling them down into the dark dimension. These are little things that I enjoy about the game. Most people uh, generally agree that animations and the art in this game and the graphics are quite exceptional. Now we've got some offers to go over. If you unlock Nakia, you'll get the 1 million four gold orbs for $10. There's also uh, one for $30, which is 3.25 million gold and uh, 24,000 fragments, which is 12 gold orbs. I, I like those two offers and their corresponding, uh, there's the larger offer. And then I also like their corresponding training materials offers. There's also a special offer that is kind of like a, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing this. Plea Black Friday. This is includes training material and gold. So if you need gold and training material, this is uh, one of the more reasonable offers right there for $15. Nothing super special. This is not like an auto buy A plus offer or anything like that. But I just say this is like a C plus B minus offer. If you're looking for training materials and gold, it's it's better than buying like both of the $10 offers because it's uh, $15 and uh, you get a reasonable amount of both items. So I, I do like this very much. Also, there's an offer right here, the first Panther bundle. So it does have uh, a small amount of the vent currency for the month long Black Panther event. I don't know if 800 is a meaningful amount when uh, the last milestone requires like 500,000 points. But the reason why this offer is making it into offer review is that it does has 75 T4s. Typically they try selling 100 T4s for $10. So being able to get 75 for five dollars is reasonable value if you're a purchaser of t4s uh this is going to be a kraken snack um this is three elite six orbs uh for, so basically one elite six orb for 33 dollars uh one you know for 100 bucks so i'm not going to be purchasing this because this is a macro transaction but i imagine this is going to get gobbled up by the krakens uh for elite sixes that is better than the anchor pricing uh, i mean anchor pricing on an elite five is like $35 and this is less than that. So I think this is a reasonable value for people that purchase elite sixes and elite fives and things like that. We've also got an offer here for the OG Wakandans. Um, the, um, we got, right, guys, we got a Koye and Black Panther, which are also war dogs. So they're going to be useful on this new war dogs team, which is going to be uh, Shuri, Koye, Black Panther, and then the two new uh, Wakandans. Uh, which is Black Panther 1 mil and Nakia. Uh, I'm not even, you know, I, I know that M'Baku and Killmonger are still going to be useful inside of Cosmic Crucible, but the other day I was playing against somebody in Cosmic Crucible and they subbed out, I believe, M'Baku for the new Black Panther and uh, Black Panther 1 mil, and the team was much, much harder than the OG Wakandans. But anyways, 200 character shards for 50 US dollars. Uh, if you have Shuri unlocked and you're getting the new... Uh, uh, Wakandans, something to, something to consider. Also, Wakandans and the War Dogs will be a part of the Scourge teams for the fourth and final Horsemen for the, the Death Archangel, uh, which is going to be next patch sometime. Uh, then we've got another offer here that I think is very fairly reasonable. 
uh, 50 character shards of two characters that are currently not fountainable, farmable anywhere in game. And they're also part of the Gamma team, which is very powerful. Horseman, I believe uh, $20, so that's a uh, good value. And then right here we have uh, another Black Friday special Red Star stack. Um, 50 gold promotion credits. Typically, anchor pricing on gold promotion credits is uh, $35 for 40 gold promotion credits. So this is $20. And more importantly, they have dark promotion credits. Also, just a, a miniature rant. It's kind of annoying that we went from boosted that we boosted uh, character rates inside of basic red star orbs, and there was no break. There was no 10x dark promotion credits between Black Panther 1 mil and Nakia. Because uh, I, I only open red stars when they have 10x uh, dark promotion credits because that's what I mostly I, I that's what I need I that's what I need out of those basic red stars is dark promotion credits anyways uh, reasonable deal right there then 300 dark promotion credits uh, also and dark promotion credits seem to be super scarce in events lately uh, then we've got a basic red star ultimate pack um, this is a better deal than the normal red star offer that they have normally they try to sell uh, 50 US dollars for 14. 14 red stars so this is 15 basic red stars for 15 dollars and again the only time that i open basic red stars is when they have 10x dark promotion credits and normally there's a break between characters but we went right from black panther one mil to nakia so i didn't have an opportunity to open them uh next we have she hulk she hulk is a useful member on the gamma team and she's also uh, a horseman apocalypse character uh, 50 character shards for $5. She's been out for a long time. Uh, Sharon Carter. Uh, she's useful for sure inside of the raids. Uh, inside of the Doom raids. So there you go. 50 character shards for $5. And then Emma. Uh, Emma is, is... I still play her almost every day. Uh, she, just because of her kit. Uh, mostly she reduces this, uh, the, the speed on the opponents by 10%. Uh, in a turn-based game... Uh, turn meter and speed manipulation is always going to be king. Uh, I think this is the lowest price I've seen on her recently. $5 for 50 character shards. And then lastly, we have Kestrel, still one of the best plug and play characters uh, for $5 for 50 character shards. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on giving. Bye for now.